everyone. Say, my name is Elizabeth. My name is Elizabeth. And can you and say? I'm, and we're in the, to the future. <laughs> we are in the future? Yeah. The castles, the Buckingham Palace, and the Eiffel Tower, where I climbed with David last Christmas. Where I climbed with David. Ah! And the Eiffel. <laughs> And the Eiffel Tower were ah! <laughs> ah! And the Eiffel Tower ah! Go! Quickly! That hurts the worst! Okay, three, two, one! The sun is up, it's a beautiful day My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright it's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far There is so much love to give Something's telling me this time Baby, baby, now I know Baby, baby, gotta go there is so Hi everyone and welcome to our very first episode of Jamison's On The Go Today we're going to introduce ourselves so today is about meeting the Jamisons. I'm David, I'm the father or the, as the, the kids like to call me, the daddy of the family. I want to tell you a little bit about myself uh, to start with. I'm from Australia, um, originally from Tasmania, which is that little island uh, down the bottom or the South Island of Australia. For the last 20 odd years, I've been working in the hospitality industry, managing hotels all around uh, the world, particularly within Asia and the Middle East mostly. So I've lived in places like Japan, Korea, China, Thailand, the Philippines, Dubai and the Middle East, even the Caribbean uh, we've lived and worked. So we've been all over the place and we've experienced a lot of different things and we wanted to start to share that with people. So this is one of the reasons why we're, we're doing this blog is to share some of our experiences. The family itself is a very international family. As you'll see throughout uh, this blog, it, you'll get to know a little bit about each one of my family members. So my wife, uh, she's from the Philippines. My eldest daughter, Sam, she was born in Grenada in the Caribbean. David was born in Dubai and Elizabeth was born in Thailand. As I mentioned earlier on, I, I'm in the hospitality industry, so I've been working in hotels in various roles quite a number of years, starting in food and beverage, moving into revenue and sales and marketing, then back into hotel operations, and then into general manager, where I've been managing hotels for various chains for the last 10 years within uh, the Asia region. Currently we're in uh, the Philippines in a little island called Cebu, which is the second largest uh, city or population area within uh, the Philippines. A little bit about myself. I enjoy Australian rules football. My, my team is uh, the Hawks or Hawthorne. We haven't gone that well uh, of late lately, but uh, you know, well, I, we keep on the bandwagon and my wife and I are, are very religious in watching the games uh, on the weekends where we can get access to it. And if we're in Melbourne, then there's no better place to be than at the MCG screaming on for our uh, beloved Hawks. We love to travel. So travel has always been part of my, my lifestyle, even since I was young. When I was young, I was fortunate enough uh, with my family to to travel to various parts of uh, the world. I remember going to Fiji when I was very young and going to the US on a, on a tour, going to Singapore. Uh, and I think that all kick-started my whole love of travel and wanting to get out and explore the world, explore cultures, explore people, and get in and, and see things that you don't normally see as, as a tourist. And this is one of the great parts of expat life and being an expat is you do get to to meet and mingle with a lot of uh, people in a lot of different countries and you get to to learn about 
the country in ways that uh, tourists may not get to see in four or five days going and, and visiting there. As I mentioned, food is also something that uh, I do love and I've spent a lot of time working with food and different cuisines uh, throughout the years uh, in the various countries that I've worked in. So one thing we will be touching on in this blog as we explore in the coming months will be different restaurants and the kind of food that they create and the kind of cuisine that they're offering. And we'll be looking at it from a family perspective and showing things that families can enjoy because at the end of the day, we're a family and when we go out, we have to try to make sure that we cater for, for everyone's tastes, which is, is very different because Samantha is very much a sweet tooth while David is a very much a savory tooth. So it, it's sometimes uh, difficult to make sure that everyone's catered for at the same place. That's all about me at the moment. Um, what we will be into doing throughout this blog is I will now introduce uh, Jackie, um, my wife, um, who will explain a little bit about herself and then we'll introduce the kids. Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and I'm from the Philippines. I grew up in Mindanao. Mindanao has a very bad reputation in people's perspectives because of what they hear and see on the news. While there are bad influences in some parts of it, it doesn't represent all of us that lives there. So I came from a large farming family where we have to work very hard to live. As a big family, our parents have to try their best to support everyone and individually me and my siblings have to work our best to ensure that we help our parents and we're able to go to school, finish our studies and eventually find a job. So. It has been a very challenging time in the province. That was when I decided to go to Cebu. So I moved from the province to Cebu to search for a better life. And eventually I progressed myself uh, to a hospitality work in Manila where David and I started our relationship as well. So my first travel outside of the Philippines was when we moved to the Caribbean and that was when we had Samantha and this was the start of what is now our 11 years journey traveling around the world which took us to many different and very interesting countries and I still believe that the best is yet to come. So last Christmas we were fortunate enough to travel UK and France for four weeks where I was able to see the favorite places I wanted to visit as a kid. The Stonehenge, the Buckingham Palace, some castles, the Eiffel Tower, and the Mont Saint-Michel. I love traveling and experiencing things, and this is something that we love doing together as a family. So that gives you a little insight about me. And next, I will introduce you to our eldest daughter, Samantha. She's 10. And currently, because of COVID, she's doing online school. Sometimes it's like outdoor activities like swimming or s soccer, and that camping, and that. Um, other times I like to play video games. I'm not really sure how that works, but it's kind of a mix of both indoor and outdoor activities. I also like doing flips and that. And at school, I like making friends and playing with them. Usually, I like playing with them in the library, like reading or writing with them. So yeah, um, that's all about myself. And you'll see me in our 
soon to be videos. Bye. because I've been in hotels much of my life. There's nice rooms. There's swimming pools. And there was a kids club so I could play with other people. I was born in Dubai. I don't remember anything about there because we left there when I was little. People call me David J. So I don't get mixed up with my dad. In Phuket, one of my favorite things to do every year is Songkran. Songkran is a water festival. I love it because we go around Phuket shooting people with big water guns. I'd like to introduce my little sister Elizabeth. She's only two. She says stuff really funny sometimes. Sometimes she's really silly and and she's really bossy sometimes. She likes to boss me and Samantha around, but we still love her. comes to my birthday. Play games with Koya and Ate and Daddy and Mommy and Jack and balloons chasing. I'm watching TV, going bedtime and first day at school, taking a bath, drinking Shoes and balloons and chairs and birthday cake and muffins and donuts. I like them. They're so good. Bye bye. See you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Hit the button down below to subscribe. Please hit the like button and um, be sure to click the notification bell so you get updated on our new videos. See you on See our next, next video. video. See you next videos.